Okay. Um, the final thing, oh, the, the second to final thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing the size of all the cars because they're too big. This game is too hard at the moment. Much too hard. We need to change these cars' sizes so that the game is a lot easier, a lot more doable. So we're going to use the set size block and we are just going to change um, the cars to around 50. If it doesn't look right, then change it. Change the value very slightly. This car to me looks a bit too small. We want it to be a tiny bit bigger, so we're going to make it 60. Actually, we are going to go all the way up to 70. And I think that looks about the right size. So we're, all going, to, we're going to change all of the other cars to around this size. Um, I'll try 50 for this one. Yeah. This one, as you can see, needs to be a bit bigger. So, 70. Yeah, 70 looks about right for that car. You see, all the different cars need different values. Uh, I'll try 60 to start with. Yeah, see, this one is fine with 60. Uh, we'll go for this car, and we'll try 60. And as you can see, it looks a bit too small, so we'll try 70. And that looks about right. Um, this car, try 60. Looks a bit too big, in my opinion. So 50. Looks about right. So, um, we play it again. And this is a bit easier for me to survive. It's still a very hard game on its own. And, yeah, um, when you play this for the last time, you will see that it is quite hard. But it is possible. <laughs> Um, sometimes it's harder than others. It's it's like most games. It's sometimes it's a bit unfair because you know a whole load of cars come along at once and it's really hard to impossible to dodge them all. But it's a bit easier than it was when they're all 100% because that was just impossible. See, I can kind of like maneuver my car now and I can get it out of the way. And yeah, I'm gonna fail that. Okay, so the last one we're going to do is we're going to make the score. I think you remember seeing the score. This is going to be nice and easy. Um, so we're going to make it full sprites, and we're just going to leave it up there, because this is something that um, we want the user to see. We don't want the user to see this game started, because, you know, they don't need to see it. It's just something for the inner workings of our thing. It's kind of like, you know, it's a mechanism, but we don't want them to see how we programmed it. Whereas score is actually for their eyes. We're actually doing this for their benefit. So we're going to just make it... Um, we are going to go into our original car, as you can see. And just below set game started to, um, uh, we are going to put in set score to zero. Um, so this is like resetting the score, because otherwise, every time you play the project, the score wouldn't reset and it would get bigger and bigger. So we want it to restart every time you press the green flag. And we are also going to put in change score by one. And what we're going to do here is we're going to just drag this in and put it in between set Y to mouse Y and wait. And let's play it for a last time. We have completed this game. And as you can see, I've got a running score at the top. And I can try and beat my score. I can replay it and, um, yeah, um, I got a score of 292. I'm going to press the green flag, reset, so it's not 292 still. I know this has been a massive tutorial, but I hope you've enjoyed it. This is a huge step towards being, um, you know, very good at Scratch. I think if you've seen all my tutorials and you've ma managed to make all the games, you are well on the way to making much more complex things. A heads up, I will at some point be doing Scratch Advanced Tutorials. This is Scratch Beginners Tutorials. I don't know when, um, um, but at some point I will. If you want to get into that, um, that series, then you have to um, kind of use Scratch for a bit. So you need to know some stuff. Um, I would recommend, you know, messing around with Scratch for about a month before you attempt to do anything in the Advanced Tutorials. 
because I will expect you to know some stuff. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching these tutorials as much as I have making them. There will be more out soon. Thank you and see ya.